Hi, yes, hello, and welcome back to another Millennial Movie Member Request. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley, and if you're a returner, welcome back. I'm a millennial that likes to go back and watch your older classic movies for the very first time. That's on Mondays, on Fridays, my top tier patrons, my Millennial Movie Members can tell me any movie of any genre of any year and I gotta watch it. If you have not seen the title or read the thumbnail, it is the 1939 Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And Inky Bingy 2000 is the member that requested this. And if you're wondering, like, this seems kind of random, it is actually because Hubbin recently moved to D- I will be moving as well, but he recently moved to DC because he took a new job. I haven't moved because I have all this, so I'm moving slowly. <laughs> So in case you feel like this is kind of random, out of the blue, that's why when I announced that we were going to be moving to Washington DC, Inky Binky made this his request in uh, 1939. We're going way back. I'm talking like it's a wonderful life back. So I wonder if it's going to be in black and white. I don't know. I've looked up so many movie posters recently that I just don't want to do that. And so it, with it being a movie from 1939, I really have no idea who could even be in this if I'll even know anybody. I'm also really surprised that a movie from 1939 is two hours and nine minutes long. Anyways, oh my shirt today is uh, Abby Normal from Young Frankenstein because every day can be hello beans if you try hard enough. Well if I'm not gonna look up a movie poster, the only thing that I can gather from the title is there's a man whose last name is Smith and it seems like he's gonna go to Washington. I don't know if this is a comedy. I don't know if this is a murder mystery. I have negative idea of what this movie could be. So no more diddle dally. Let's get right on into today's millennial movie member request, which is the 1939 Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Macaroni. Okay, so it's looking like we're gonna be in the black and white era. I don't know any of these names except somebody's name is Baby Dumpling. Love that. Sam Foley's dead. Great saint. Of all time. Of all <laughs> Great saint. Who says that? You call him the dead of night. Also, when Taylor, did men dear. stop wearing these nightgowns? Is my question. Yes, Jim. I suppose he'd drop dead if you ever said no to him. <laughs> Relax, happy. Stop having kittens. Are you going in that room? <laughs> what? These old sayings are ridiculous. It's high time I told Jim Taylor a thing or two. Yeah, tell him about himself. You'll see those committees when we're finished. Yes, Jim. Yeah, you really told him. You really told him. You really gave him a what for? Is it worth the risk of a scandal now that a new man is going to the Senate? Does this guy on the right, does his glasses not have any ear hooks? He's buying up all the land around that dam and... Holding it in dummy names. Well, that sounds a little sketchy, don't it? Why, old Horace will perform like a trained seal. What did I tell you, Joe? And that's what they're looking for in the Senate. The Honorable Horace Miller. No! The people have spoken. Henry Hill, that crackpot, that long head. Long head? What does that even mean? I won't send Horace Miller. Oh, you won't. Look at you standing up to Jim. Oh, then. Oh, then. You mean to tell me people used to stand when a man would enter the room and only sit down when he did? He's the only senator to have. Sure, you ought to be president. Oh yeah, y'all little kids have a lot of education and a political opinion. Well, Can we talk about the fact this woman oh, had eight no, kids? Dad, just you know her vagina be hurting. Me. And they're all close in age, so she was like popping them out and put them right back in. My heart. And boy, stuff's got the swellest stuff in it. What? Why does he talk like a radio baseball announcers? I'm in no mood to listen to childish prattle. Prattle? What is that? If you're ever gonna stand up like a man someday and tell Taylor to go to Did he just tell his dad that if he ever stood up like a man? Ed's Hill, Tails Miller. No, this seems like a great way to pick something like this. <laughs> what are the odds? It's a sign from the universe. That's a hell of a doorbell. It is not a doorbell. That kid is drinking milk. I still hate milk. But, but you I... made this appointment without asking me. But Jim, because you wouldn't be on board. A nugget. Wait a second. That's a. Uh... That's dude. That's dude from It's a Wonderful Life. Can't help feeling that there's 
been a big mistake son that's for sure the dude from it's a wonderful life i, I don't think i'm gonna be much help to you down there in washington son. you're not really selling yourself buddy <laughs> i could be a baton person <laughs> oh heck it's a briefcase yeah well you didn't have to tell him what it was <laughs> God, this kid is like super emotional about Mr. Smith being senator. No one look at you and I can see him back at his old roll top desk. Okay, that's so precious and nice. Found him slumped over his desk that morning. Shot in the back. Oh my God. So he was assassinated. Well, my pigeons, I better see about my pigeons. The porter has. Pigeons? Pigeons like the bird? They're all right. That's fine. That ends They that were right. pigeons. I, ju I just thought I couldn't hear him. Hey, One dollar each, please, for the milk fund. Can y'all mind your business? What have you got there, Senator? Well, they're pigeons. Yeah. You can't tell what they are, girl? The wildlife around here is a little different. They wear high heels. <laughs> <laughs> My father. Oh, don't be making eyes like that. Don't be making eyes like that. That's a conflict of interest. Okay, that's for sure how Blake looked when he arrived at D.C. Messages back to Maul. <laughs> this way, Senator. Okay, so they just keep making fun of him, and that makes me sad. Can we talk about his eyebrows? Let him know. Sure, sure, I'll hang a light in the belfry. One if by land and two if by sea. <laughs> okay, so she's sassy. You got it. You can get out of there. Suck it in. You got it. Every time I think of exercise, I have to lie right down till the feeling leaves me. Same. <laughs> can you hold us a minute for me, please? Thank you, sir. <laughs> they said, I'm a go. They said, I gotta get out of here. So this dude just got on a bus and is like, well, I'm gonna go for a tour. I mean, listen, it is really cool to think about. It is really neat. And also, that's gonna be the first thing I do whenever I get to DC, is uh, I'm gonna go to the Washington Monument, because when we went in 2019, I didn't realize that you had to have tickets. They have a daily amount of tickets for free. But anyways, we didn't know that, so we didn't go get tickets and they were out of tickets, so. I wish I had a dollar for every time I said tickets in that story. <laughs> Man, Mr. Smith is living his best life right now. He's out exploring. He's out looking at the Lincoln Monument. Lincoln Memorial, I mean. Freedom. Okay, that's a really special shot. That's really special. I don't know, maybe if I saw you once with your hair combed or something. <laughs> that's all it takes. You looking presentable and sober. What do you want? Office of Jefferson Smith. No. God, she's not very nice, is she? Man downstairs. No! But that was Jefferson Smith, the dude you're supposed to be looking out for. Yeah, they sure must have picked the prize dummy for... Say, wait a minute. Yeah, they picked the prize dummy for a secretary. And Senator Payne, yes, hurry up, will you? Is that anything the matter? Yeah, the fact you went missing. That was weird. Just naturally got aboard. Most natural thing in the world. Besides eating, sleeping, or shitting, I guess. I'll see you later, Saunders. I gotta go out and drink this over. <laughs> you better relax, Senator. You can get yourself plumb more out. He's just excited to be here. Let him be happy. You know what he's gonna do tomorrow before taking that Senate seat? Going up to Mount Vernon. Who's this guy in the background watching? Oh, you know, oh, guy, oh, I smell oh, it. Go chase an ambulance. Go chase an ambulance. For Lowe's pension bill. You must have one idea you think would be good for the country, haven't you? He just made it here. Give him 30 seconds to catch his breath. Let them learn something about nature. American ideal. Are we talking, like, about, like, Boy Scouts? Down at the station, four of them came up and kissed me when I got off the train. <laughs> it's because you're a little cutie. What about some bud calls, Fenty? You know any? Uh -huh. Can you make it sound like an eagle? Why? What is this? What is this even about? Okay, so they just tried to frame him, really. Or set him up. I won't say frame him. Set him up. I wasn't given a brain just to tell a boy ranger what time it is. Good for you standing up for yourself. The United States Senate. Uh-huh. Mom. Yep, that's where the senators go. Wish me luck. Sure. Bye. Bye. Well, she didn't say it. She didn't say good luck. All she said was sure. What an awful job. She had one job, to wish him good luck. I've been in there before. I've been in the Senate chamber before. And no, I wasn't in the chamber on January 6th. I went for a private tour in 2019. <laughs> Before anybody so tries to come in and some shit. Clarification. Hold on, I'm just going to sit around and listen. And that's a way to get reelected. <laughs> ah, so you had a little publicity. A lot of publicity. Has he not seen all the pictures of himself in the paper? Has he not seen that? Daniel Webster's desk, did you know? Uh-huh. He won't mind. <laughs> it's funny because he's dead. What kind 
of half-assed gavel is that? Oh, ridiculous. The senator designate will present himself at the desk. The oath will be administered. Come on, present yourself at the desk. I refer to his astounding and shameless performance for the newspapers. Yeah. The Stand, senator sir. designate has no voice in this chamber. Till know your place, bitch. He has the greatest possible respect for his office. And for American history. Senator, you can talk all you want to now. <laughs> That's funny. Also, aren't their hands supposed to be on a Bible? A friend of Joe's is a friend of mine. Thank you, sir. Good luck. You don't have to worry about hey, that. Hey, just... so is that man the... Was he the pharmacist in It's a Wonderful Life? The drugstore owner? Senator, you can't do that. You, why are you going around punching people? I know they did you dirty, but you can't do that. That's bad. We don't have to be reelected like politicians. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's true. Also, Jeffrey, no, Jefferson, Jeff, whoever the hell you are, Mr. Smith, you gotta have a thick skin if you're gonna be here. Yeah, like a Christmas tiger. He'll nod his head and vote. Yeah. yeah. What's a Christmas tiger? Honey, hey, you can't be taking everything personally all the time. Uh, you gotta, You gotta have some thicker skin than that. I can't understand half of them myself, and I used to be a lawyer. Okay, well, that's a problem. Oh, the man on the front bench. Hey, girl! He just... Where are you going dressed up like that? This morning with a letter in it. He, he flew right up. He has a little flew... crush on her, clearly, fidgeting with his hat like that. Don't you think I'd better hold this for you? No, I think I'd better go. And somebody else better hold it, because he is not doing a good job. <gasps> Don't go. Well, he's got a little crush. Good night. Good night, Jack. Good night. That was a good cover-up. Where's your hat? That's not your hat. The expense of some of the furniture, Susan. You've made another conquest. Conquest? You have the faintest idea of what it takes to get a bill passed. No. <laughs> At least he was honest. Oh, a, a day. A day? Yes, just tonight. Is that even possible? All civilized countries, there's an institution called dinner. Oh. <laughs> a bill nobody ever heard about and discuss it among 96 men. Where would you get? Okay, she's really good at explaining this process because I am also able to keep up with it. They decide when a bill is important enough to be moved up toward the head of the list. Well, this is. Well, we'll see if the committee thinks that. Hey, do you mind if I take the time to go and get a pencil? Oh, no. You mean to tell me he ain't got a pencil on his desk? Yes, and all lighted up like that, too. Lit. Lit up. You said lighted twice now. In front of them every single day of their lives and say, I'm free. Not if you're married. See daylight again after coming Girl, are you getting emotional about his speech about a boys' camp? Have you always had to work? Since I was about 16. 16. So working at 16, 16 was like uncommon back then? Sonny. Hello, Sonny. Hello. Morning, Sonny. Okay. That works, I guess. Well, you've got a first name, haven't you? We just better forget about it. Oh. Why is it ugly? Is it like Gertrude? Hey! My mind all of a sudden of a pump without a handle or something. It's alright. <laughs> Okay. Weird. It's Clarissa. 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 All right, Saunders, let's go. Not as pretty as Beans. Well, he still didn't call her by her first name. Willet, Crick, Willet, W-I-L-L-E-T, just a little straight. In Terry Canyon. Oh, the damn Bill. Now there's the principal actor in our little play. Don Quixote Smith, man with Bill. <laughs> That's one way to reference him. You mean Puss in Boots? Huh? Yeah, mostly Puss. The joke makes itself. Resolutions. Mr. President! Don't, don't yell. Don't yell. You're okay. He's just excited. He jumped the gun a little bit. Be it enacted by the Senate and the House of Representatives. You got it. Be brave. Be self-confident. This camp to be situated on the hey, land... Hey, Dick, at, at don't be laughing at him. Get it, it's funny because his name is Richard. To the growing youth of this great and beautiful land. <laughs> Look at how good you did! Look at you! That's awesome! Proud of you! Why does he wave like this? Why is he chopping air? Our young senator will make a good orator when his voice stops changing. Okay, well that did not end how I thought it would. My daughter isn't here to carry out assignments like that for anybody. I was gonna say, don't start using women to like, persuade him. That's not fun for anybody. Oh, look at that camera! Hey, you know that thing has to weigh 50 pounds! Compose a song to replace the Star Spangled Banner. Do you want to hear it? No, no. I would like to hear it. Like, you gotta be pretty sure of yourself to say that your song could replace the Star Spangled Banner, you know? Bang! That's perfect. Well, here. You can see how it's Oh, yeah, no, that seems bell. very reasonable for a senator to have a jar just full of change on his desk. It makes total sense. I introduced a bell. Me, Jeff Smith. I got up and spoke in the Senate. Yeah, you did, buddy. Proud of you. I'm elected to snatch Mr. Jefferson Smith from the Senate tomorrow. This is not fair to him, and it makes me sad. 
And, uh, oh, a manicure and a haircut wouldn't do any harm. And Men back then used to get manicures? I know not finger paint, like, or I mean finger polish, but like... Well... You don't have to take your hat off. Paint, how are you? Uh, oh yes. my god, the hat situation again. I'd be delighted. Yeah, Why right. does pain make him nervous, but Saunders, like, he's like, like, intimate with Saunders, you know what I mean? What day? Pain. Sad. <laughs> Throw a little fit, why don't you? Imagine reading My Day by Susan Payne in the Neck. Susan Payne in the Neck, that's so funny. If you're going to wonder, let's go down and do it over a hunk of steak, huh? I'm proud of him for being persistent, though. Sending a kid off to school for the first time. You a little drunk, Sanders? Saunders? I don't want to be around, see? I'm squeamish, see? That's what I am. You're drunk, that's what she is. I'm gonna quit, I'm through. Again? Well, that way you could pursue him romantically. Let's get married. It's a good well, idea. No, it's not. You just got out of a tunnel. Tunnel? You can't marry him and be quoting Jeff. Prairie grass with a wind leaning on it, have you this? You haven't either, girl, and you're about to marry a man who can't give you those things. We're getting married. Oh, yes, yeah, that's right. Did you forget, girl, what was your idea this time? My first name's Clarissa. Yeah, I know, it's okay. Is her first name really that much of a problem for her? I think it's a beautiful name. Clearing out of that office, everything I own, my extra hat, everything. Oh, God, you know she means business when she's clearing out her extra hat. Thank you, Mr. Smith. But it was the way she said it. Oh, my God. You jealous, girl? You jealous? I can't take, can't take a simple... Why does she have a doll on her desk? This is no place for you. You're halfway decent. You don't belong here. That's really funny. You're halfway decent. You don't belong here. Me, the man I'm going to marry. Girl, you, you downgraded a lot. A damn going up where you think your camp's going to be. Ever hear of it? Good for her for telling him about it. Come on, I'll take you home. Come on, this is your first test as a husband to give her, like, comfort and affection. I've been told that this whole thing is his idea to get grabbed. Oh, y'all be getting caught. Me, Jim? Yeah. How? Well, you wouldn't understand that. Damn. <laughs> and that's a funny pun because it's a bill about a damn. I wouldn't trust you to lick a postage stamp. I'm gonna start using that. Our steamroller methods are getting too hard for you. He only likes him when it benefits him and doesn't make him look bad. Jim, it's just that I like the kid. I don't want to see you get too rough on him. Well, you shouldn't have become emotionally invested in him. I don't know what to tell you. You knew you were working with crooks. <laughs> you know, some people told me that you were dumb. <laughs> How's he just gonna say that to his face? You mean you tell these men and Senator Payne what to do? Yep, you're putting it together. You're catching on. He said he'd been telling you what to do for 20 years. I call him a liar. I'm glad you believe in him, but you're being a little naive. It's politics after all. Can a man like Taylor tell you and those other men what to do? Yeah, if he's put money in their pocket. Gotta check your ideals outside the door like you do your rubbers. Does that mean what I think it means? You can't count on people voting. Half the time they don't vote anyway. True. Well, I've grown very fond of you. About like a son. If this is your way that you would treat a son, you're not a very good dad. And for the sake of my friendship with your father, please. Don't bring his dead dad into this. Senator Smith desire to be heard on section 40? I do, sir. Good for you for standing up. I consider Senator Smith unworthy to address this body. Wow. Prove that my colleague owns the very land described in his bill. I thought they bought that under fake names. Haynes asked for a hearing before the Committee on Privileges and Elections. Wow, he brought him into this, and now he's going to get him kicked out. He used to use my land up around Willet Creek every summer for his boy rangers. Okay, that's the only man who says creek correctly in this movie. As an expert on handwriting, I'd say the name of... Oh my God, this is stressful. This is an elaborate plan to cover up their lie. I was amazed at his violent reactions. I couldn't understand it. Well, you can't fight that. I was gonna say he hasn't been violent, but he punched all the members of the press when he first got elected or first got appointed. You know what? Honestly, Jefferson, I understand why you wanted to end it all and it's a wonderful life now. The committee is ready to hear you now, Senator Smith. Yeah, he ain't gonna look at you. Why? Because he feels shame. Wow, Mr. Smith said gotta go. I mean, the argument's stacked against him. It doesn't matter what he says at this point. Yo, he has, like, the perfect nose. His nose is very straight. 
it comes to like the perfect little point you know what girl I was on your side but like you didn't really help him like you would take one step forward and like five back so I don't know how I feel about you anymore actually swears that I've been robbing kids at nickels and dimes I mean that is really awful I guess the tailors and pains put them up there so suckers like me could read them it's not your fault that you believed in America's just a government system everyday common rightness and this country could use and you believed in the future and the children of the future that were gonna shape America it's a 40-foot dive into a tub of water but I think you can do it that's a really uh descriptive analogy where can we get a drink now you're talking hell yeah uh, but that's not where she has her best idea. She says she's gonna marry that press dude. Wouldn't exactly say that was her brightest moment. Are you crazy? <laughs> at least she knows it. The senator can have nothing to say at this time. That would not be either in bad grace. He's still a senator. He can still talk there. And as such has an equal claim on the attention of this chair. Suck it. The chair recognizes Senator Smith. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's how it goes. The day I went up to see him, the senator yield. No, sir, I will not yield. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> and the long and powerful arm of Mr. James Taylor reached into this sacred chamber. Good for you for telling all the dirt. James was one of the congressmen in that room. I was in that room. Okay, so you just told on yourself. That's not, that's not Jeff's fault. Has the gentleman the effrontery to stand there convicted and in disgrace? Oh, you're one to talk about disgrace? You almost poisoned a lady and it's a wonderful life because you were too busy being upset. And refused to remain in this chamber as long as that man holds the fraud. So that's like a really government official way of saying, I'm not going to be here anymore. Oh, he's eating this up. He's loving it. Every second of it. Do it, filibuster. It's fine. Do it. I don't think you're supposed to be getting help from that, from her, from anybody up there. At arms to request and, if necessary, compel the attendance of the absent senator. Oh yeah, y'all could they could send the police out to bring their asses back in for a vote. I forgot about that. Okay, y'all really did a lot. If y'all were gonna storm out and leave, why didn't you leave the Capitol? Like, why are you, why were y'all hanging out in the hallways? A filibuster. This is the miracle I wanted. What are y'all? Y'all gonna get married now? He can raise public opinion against us if any part of this sticks. Nah, he'll never get started. Uh, he already has. Or any other pro-Smith stuff coming from Washington out of all of our newspapers, do you understand? Hey now, freedom of press. Joe, will you get back into that Senate? I think when he gets back into the Senate, I think he's going to support Jeff. Facts which have been established Sir, why are your glasses so fogged up? As long as Mr. Smith holds that floor legitimately, he's going to continue to hold it. That's how a filibuster works. The integrity of the Committee on Privileges and Elections. No, it's your power that you want to contain control of maintain control of that he does not sit down second that he does not leave the chamber or stop talking oh i didn't realize those were the only two rules this uh, bill he's trying to block will affect your section as well as any it's the patriotic he's not trying to block the whole bill just the section about the creek damn if you haven't got men that have learned to tell human rights from a punch in the nose oh that's good that's a good one and and he knows both because he punched a lot of the press in the nose I wouldn't be a bit surprised some of these senators were boys were. Is that how growing up works? This isn't your country. It belongs to a lot of James Taylors. Oh, no. Not Ooh. I know I'm being disrespectful to this honorable body. I know that. I. No, you're not. Filibusters are legal. You're not doing anything wrong. Ask him. I don't think you're supposed to be helping him like you are. And he sees you doing it. That's so romantic! Did that light your fire to keep you going? Proof to her you, that you got some stamina. Page one, top left hand corner. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect- Didn't somebody recently, like in the past few years, read Green Eggs and Ham on the Senate floor? During a filibuster? I think so. One man muzzling a whole state? And how? Freedom of the press. That's what I said! That's what I said! Already, Clarissa? She called me Clarissa. Uh, oh, she called her Ma! Oh, goodness! Wow, I just forget how much work everything was. <laughs> I know that showing my age, but like... You're doing great work, kiddo. Stay awake, stay alert. Y'all got this. They're stealing the newspapers from the boys? He just smacked the shit out of that kid! 
Even turning the hose on? Oh, now it's kind of obvious that James Taylor, you know, when there's this much pushback. We're hurting children. We're like running them over. A lady that stands for liberty. Take a look at this country through her eyes if you really want to see something. Ooh, that's good. That's powerful. Because this country is bigger than the Taylors, or you, or me, or anything else. I'm gonna need you to drink some water. Your little throat. To bring into this chamber evidence of the response from my state. Is there objection? I would love evidence, and so would Beans. She's here. Oh, is it all the newspapers the Taylors were stealing? Public opinion made the order. Yeah, Taylor made. That's a clever poem! That's a clever play on words! This makes me so sad for him. I don't know how we're gonna resolve this in the next five minutes. Because of just one plain simple rule. Love thy neighbor. Hope y'all got gas, cause we going on a guilt trip. I mean, technically he didn't sit down, so... Oh my god, he tried to kill himself! Every word of it is true! I'm not fit for office! I'm not fit for any place of honor or trust! Well, you know what? That's the way to resolve the issue, to finally be honest about it. Oh, the end. It just ends! <laughs> okay! Uh, James Stewart! That was the name. The dude from It's a Wonderful Life. Okay, let's talk about it. Okay, well with that ending, I guess we're just supposed to assume that him and Sanders get married and he's okay. I know he just fainted, but I'm assuming that he is fine and he continues to be a senator. Um, I'm assuming, you know, the bill gets redone and takes the damn out. You know, we are to assume these things. When this first started and there were like, they were introducing all these different characters, I was really scared that I wasn't gonna be able to keep up with it at first. I really, I am pleasantly surprised with this movie because when it first came on, just like I just said, I didn't think I was gonna be able to keep up with it because there was a lot happening and I don't know a lot about government things. So I was real worried that it was just gonna right over my head. But you know what? It didn't. This was actually a really good movie. You know what? Inky Bingy has me on some sleeper films. I have never heard of this before. <laughs> and it's been a hot second since I've been in black and white on the channel. I guess The Wizard of Oz, the first p portion of it, you know, was mostly black and white. This is a movie that I think Blake would really like. I'm gonna have to, t I'm gonna tell him all about it after I'm done filming. I'm gonna call him, I'm gonna tell him all about it. This is not a movie that I would watch again and it's definitely for a very niche group of people. If you have a passion for politics, this is up your alley. I enjoyed it because it had a little bit of a love story and it's actually really witty too, like very witty humor. And uh, we love some sassy older, like old Hollywood women, or at least I do, because I feel like that was very um, transitional period for women in movies, you know, to go from like the stereotypical housewife hot woman to like attractive business well you know what I'm, you know what i'm trying to say i don't know if what i'm saying is making sense anyway so i'm gonna give this movie like four out of five stars i had a good time i'm gonna recommend it to hubbin i wouldn't watch it again but i am glad that i saw it and i do love james stewart but beans is hungry i gotta feed that baby or she's gonna wither away to absolutely nothing and i would just oh god look at her she's just beans are you gonna make it baby beans you're gonna make it? So I'm gonna feed this baby. Inky Biggy, thank you so much for this suggestion. Thank you for watching. And like, subscribe, stick around. Coming up Monday is 9 to 5 with Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin. Very excited about it. I hope you stick around. Links to social media down below if you want to be my friend outside of the YouTubeverse. And I'll see you right back here on Monday. Bye.